Hello, Gary Simon here of designcourse.com. Today we have a quick tip video tutorial and we're going to be focusing on a site called tinypng.com. And what it allows you to do is to take all of your website's PNG files, whether they're 8-bit or 24-bit, and upload them and it will compress them down usually between 50 to 80 percent of their original size while still maintaining the same level of quality. All right, so basically, if you haven't yet, check out designcourse.com, subscribe here on YouTube, and real quickly, I'm going to go over the service, and there's also a Photoshop plugin as well that you can use. All right, let's get started. All right, so this is the website, tinypng.com, and all you have to do is uh, just by groups of 20, drag on to this area the PNG files that you want to optimize. So basically, I... In Windows here, I have uh, the Explorer out, the File Explorer, and this is the Images folder for my website. And so what you want to do is f basically sort it by type. So I have PNG files. I think there's like 42 or, yeah, 42 right here. I just copied those, and I created two new folders, Originals and New, and basically paste all of the PNG files into the new folder. And this will also allow you to right-click it, go to Properties, kind of see what uh, what the file size is right here, which is 65.9K. All right, so what you want to do is go into that folder. We'll get this in here. Let me sort by list. And you can only uh, upload 20 at a time. So what you want to do is just hold shift. Nah, that's 35 items. So oops, no. There we go. 20 right there. All right, and just left click and drag it on there. And what it does is gives you the file name, the original file size here, and then the new file size. And then it gives you the file size, uh, the, the decreased percentage basically. And so I must have uploaded one too many on uh, that last one. But anyhow, as you can see, it really saved just from those 20 files, 22 KB, which is huge. So what you would do is just click this a bunch of times and it would download all of these into your downloads folder whatever you have set for your uh, your actual browser so now what you would do then is just go back to the file explorer and select the rest and drag it on there and then the same thing will happen so I did this earlier and what I found is that it decreased the file size of those 42 files down from 65.9 KB to roughly 22 KB. So it's saving over 50 KB per visitor. So that's obviously kind of huge. So uh, especially if you have a lot more images on your site. So I uh, also if you come over here to Photoshop. Uh, there is a plugin that they have as well. And it does cost money, though it allows you to export to PNG. And that is it, basically. So this is uh, something that I'm going to basically use from now on. And it's just like a no-brainer. I, I did test it. These optimized images are up on my site, designcourse.com. So uh, the logo and you know, all the graphics for the form and such, these are all basically already optimized. And you cannot tell any type of difference. And it also works with 24-bit alpha transparency, so that works. All right, so yeah, just a very quick tutorial here, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with a new video. If you haven't yet, check out designcourse.com and subscribe here on YouTube if you haven't. All right, goodbye.